Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am very excited today to be unboxing two new Popovi Sisters dolls. Now you guys have not seen me unbox any of these in a while. Ever since they released the Venus body, I was really wanting to get one, but I had hoped, I was holding out hope that the sisters would start taking commissions for them to paint the dolls again. Because what I ended up doing is I was like, I'm just gonna wait and I want the dolls painted by them. Well, it looks like that's probably not ever gonna happen. Um, I waited for a while and I finally decided I'm gonna go ahead and get these. And I also in here have one of the new Flora skin tones. I got the lavender skin tone, of course, because why wouldn't I? But I am very excited to open these and show them to you guys. I do wanna mention, they shipped at the beginning of August and I just received them at the end of October. I was really sweating the shipping situation because shipping hasn't updated. The tracking didn't update since August 17th. That's still where it shows um, the shipping. But Igor emailed me, he told me what was going on, that somehow they routed it to China. <laughs> and that it was not to worry about it, that they were not going to leave me alone with it, because I was really concerned about it, you guys, because they're very expensive dolls. You know, with the payment methods that you do, these two dolls together were almost $4,000, so I'll just put it like that. With, with all the fees, the shipping, everything else that goes into it, um, they were almost four grand, so I was really concerned about it, but he really reassured me and told me Allison, don't worry. We're not going to leave you alone with this. I'm tracking the situation. Um, but they may not even realize these have been delivered yet, to be honest, because the tracking has not updated since August 17th. And, you know, so just be aware of that. If you decide to place an order, the shipping service that they're using is called Boxberry. And I've heard um, a lady on Facebook said she had, she had trouble with their tracking too. So I don't know. Um, but and then I've seen other people have like a great experience. One lady in Spain had like a really great experience with it. Her dolls were delivered super fast. So results may vary, let me put it like that. But I did get the dolls, I'm very happy. And Igor was very much um, aware of the situation and was trying to allay my fears about the dolls. So that's good. I think my biggest thing was just that there's like, they're so expensive, right? These dolls are so expensive, and so for the tracking to not update, and I was really concerned. But they're here, so there's no reason for concern anymore. So, now to get them open, and they're gonna be blanks, of course, and I have decided for sure I'm gonna send one of them to Tana Beth. She is a friend of mine, she's done She's got two of my dolls right now, actually. She's done quite a bit of work. She recently just did a Pasha Pasha doll. I love what she did with her. I think she did a fantastic job. So I'm at least sending her one of these if I don't send her both. Um, her commissions are always open. I'd really like to send one, to, one of them to Precious Little Lily and one to Tana Beth, but I think Precious Little Lily doesn't have her commissions open right now. So they may end up both going to Tana Beth. So let's see. Um, hard to open they're wrapped very well at least you can say that for it so let me try this one more time so these dolls have been to Russia China there was a Great Britain sticker on there which I don't know if they went to Great Britain as well they've also been through Belgium so they've been around the world a little bit and now they're here in little old South Carolina so let me wipe this off and I don't know which doll we're gonna open first here but um, let's see. So, again, very, very happy to hear. I love their dolls. Um, and again, I had, I had stopped buying them because I was like, I'm going to wait because, you know, the, I, I really thought that they might reopen, like, the sisters painting them, but, they, I mean, you can get them in auction. I can't afford the ones at auction, though. So... I'll be very, I'm very happy with the two that I have that are painted by them. And then I'll get these done by some really talented artists and they're gonna look great. So, here we finally go. All right, my other Popovi boxes are black. So this is nice that I've got one of the new color of boxes. Now this blue tape, you can see on my white table, it's like left blue marks everywhere. So I'm gonna try to be careful to not get that on the box too much 
But there's the beautiful, beautiful box. Let me spread this out so we can have a little bit of protection on the box here. So there's the gold embossed, there's the moth in the background. So if you have a doll painted by them, you know they hide a moth on all their dolls. Um, really gorgeous box, really pretty. It's even got a little bit of shimmer to the box, like in the cardboard, so I think that's a nice touch. There we have Popovi Sisters on the side. So let's open up. And this is my Venus Body Girl. And I got her in coral, I'm pretty sure. So let's take a look here at the certificate. And I do not have um, this, like the faces I already have are Cuckoo and Tawny Owl. And so look at this. So here's the gorgeous, like everything about opening these dolls, it's very luxe. These are very, very luxe dolls. And you can see the gold um, printing there. My nails are a mess, so I'm trying to hide them from the video I've been doing. I've been gluing some stuff together. Um, and then here we have, look at that. You got like the, I think that's called vellum paper, like the really thin paper. And then this is like a piece of fabric. And then you've got their little owl Venus body coral. Oh, and that's right, I got eyes. Acrylic three, date of creation is July of 2023. So, and she is number HT85. So whatever that means. Um, so here she is, I love these new boxes. I mean, they're probably not that new now, but it's new to me since it's been a while since I've gotten one of these. Let me get her opened. Let's see. And I love this coral skin tone. Now I had coral skin tone before and I sold her because I was, I was gonna rebuy one with the sisters painting and you know, I've already explained how that story went. Let's see if I can get this untied. I wonder if she was opened by customs somewhere. Cause she's like, she's like knotted in. And I don't remember them having knotted things in like that before, but maybe they did that for the, for the shipping, I don't know. But she's like, these are knots, not like nice, little easy to untie bows so let's see and they're really really beautiful dolls I don't handle my other two very much anymore because they are painted by the sisters and being that they're painted by them and they're not painting anymore um, I mean they are but not for the commoner like me not for the peasants so I try to not touch them as much because I know that that's something that I'm not gonna be able to replace in the future. So now she's got this all around her neck. Let me see if I can undo it. I should have brought my scissors and I did not. Back with my safety scissors that my friend Kelly actually recommended me to buy. So we'll just cut that right off and away. And there we have it. And it's gonna be interesting because when I'm holding her in my hands, the, the Venus body doesn't seem all that curvy, <laughs> but I bet when I compare her next to my Flora girl, she's gonna be, oh yeah, it does seem curvier here. So you can see, um, it looks like she was suede and like the glue is kind of like coming loose in the joints. There we go. Yeah, I think she was suede, so like hot glue suede, there we go. I love this coral skin tone though. I think it's really, really beautiful. So there she's got that. And I do like also, that sounded like something broke, but it didn't, it's just locked in. See her eyes, no, her eyes are not in her head. Um, that's her, like, that's like the cord from the, the stringing. So we've got probably hands and feet in here. So let's check these out. Oh, look at that. So there's one hand here. Look at those nails. That's really, really pretty. I really love the nails. I love the hands. I think they have just the most elegant, really elegant hands on their dolls. I think everything about their dolls is really, a lot of people, they're, people are very one way or the other. Like people either hate them or they love them. But like, look at how, look at just how elegant that hand is. Like how elegantly, the, how elegant the sculpt is. She's got those long, what do they call those coffin nails? 
like just really gorgeous. I love to say with these dolls, like if they, <laughs> if they murdered some, if they committed a crime, okay, forensically, the sculpt is so good that they could track them down with their like palm prints because it's, it's, they're so detailed. So let's see where this one begins. So these are going to be feet. I like that the feet are magnetic. The two that I have do not have magnetic feet. The feet that I have for my two, they're strung on. So I do like, look at that. Look how detailed, look at the veining on that foot. So I want to get, when I get this done, I think this is the one I'm going to send, definitely sending this one to Tana Beth. I'm going to have her do like a nips and tips. I'm not going to do like a full body blush, but I'm going to have her do the feet and the hands and like the chest. Um, I'm just not going to do the full body blush because it's, um, I'm, I plan on handling her a lot. I want to handle her a lot and be able to change her a lot and do a lot with her. And if I have that full body blush, it'll just be for naught, basically. Um, so here's the other foot. Just even like the little position of the toes is really just cute. You can see the super glue on my finger there. <laughs> We broke up, like my cat knocked a vase over and it's a really nice vase that we like. So I spent this morning trying to glue it back together. I'm gonna guess this is my eyes. Yes, it is, so I can see them in there. So I'll send these. I'm not gonna put them in now, but these are her eyes. Um, so that when she gets the face up, what color did I get? Did I get like brown eyes? Oh, I got, there they are. Yeah, they're like a caramel brown sort of color. They're really pretty. So, very nice. I like to just buy the eyes from them while I'm buying them. A lot of people will buy eyes elsewhere, but I prefer just to go ahead and get their eyes. So that is the coral. That is the Venus body. Now, it's funny because I wanted the solid, the actual, actually the solid torso Venus costs more than this one with the joint because I was going to get the solid torso, but the solid torso, I want to say, was something like $500 more. And so I was like, oh, I didn't realize, like I had thought the solid torso would be less expensive because it's less joints, but I guess maybe something about pouring that whole piece, like air bubble free or something is difficult. So I got the, I got the, the jointed torso. So that is um, Little Owl on the, an ivory on the Venus body. And I think that head does work the best on the Venus body because she does have a fuller, like fuller cheeks and stuff like that. They often show her, show little owl on the Venus body. And I think that's why I think that head just really goes with that body a lot better. Um, so there's that one. Now I've got the Flora girl to open. I'm very excited about this. I'm pretty sure I got Peewit and that's kind of crazy that I don't even remember which school. I'm pretty sure it's Peewit in Flora. And so, um, she is just, I have seen some pictures. What, what's the artist's name? Silties, doll painting by Silties, or it's S-I-L-T-I-E-S. -E Did a beautiful face up on one of these lavender flora dolls on their Instagram. I thought it was stunning. I love the way it looks. So now I'm gonna have to try really hard like to pick a different look for mine because I've seen that look and I don't want to copy somebody else, you know, but she did a fantastic, or they did a fantastic job on that. Um, I'm not sure what their pronouns are. But anyway, all right, so here is the second one. And the box is the same, so we're not going to spend as much time talking about the box. I want to look at this Flora skin tone. Um, oh, this box came unglued at the bottom. Let's see. Open that. Oh, wow. Wow. It, okay. Wow. So in pictures, it has looked a lot like not as purple to me, like not as um, vibrant. <gasps> look at the, look at this, look at the fabric inside the box. It's got flora fabric inside the box. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, that is really a nice touch. So this is a special flora collection and that is really cool that they've done. I, you know, they've probably shown this but that is really cool that they did a special fabric for these boxes. I'm really impressed with that. Like really, really impressed. That's very cool. I wanna see um, what my certificate says. And 
So here she is, Peewit number on body four, lavender number six out of a hundred. Oh, that's cool. So six out of the 100 lavender color. Very nice. That's really cool. So that's her COA. So I was the, th I guess I was the sixth person to order a lavender. I did order them right when they became available, which was, it was very, very cool. I was very appreciative that they allowed me to order one so early. So, okay, so there's that. And let's get her open. Same thing, she's knotted up pretty well. The cameraman made me stop filming because he said I was just rambling trying to untie this and I wasn't focusing on getting it untied. It was very hard to untie. So I'm gonna cut this away now with the um, scissors. But yeah, so I've got, she's on the body four because I wanted, so I have got a body three, a body four, a body two, and now the um, the Venus body with the, the not the solid torso, but the two-piece torso. And I just really do love this color. It is really a beautiful color. What I really love, okay, this might be, I don't know, I'm thinking about doing something though. Y'all tell me what you think. What if I took the fabric from the box, because I think this is like a silk, it feels like a silk flora fabric and had somebody make me an outfit for her out of this fabric. Cause there's enough here to, to do like a simple, like a simple like spaghetti strap dress. What if I did that? Would that be out of line, do you think? Should I not do that? I think that might be kind of cool to like take this fabric and just do real simple, like have somebody, not me because I'm, I suck at sewing, but have somebody make like a dress out of it. Cause the, the color actually looks like, you see how that color really complements the skin tone? It is so gorgeous. And her eyes, I got the green eyes. I was thinking to do like a green, what's the vintage doll's name, Emerald the Witch. I was thinking to do like a green, smoky sort of eye for her. And I really kind of want to use this fabric to make her, a, cause I could even just pull this piece here and do like a, you see how wide it is? It could be like a mini dress for her. I'm just looking at the measurements. That's something to think about. Let me know what you think about that. Cause I would have to destroy the box or not destroy it. I mean, it's just glued on. I could pull it apart. That's an interesting thought. I'm gonna, let's, let's, I'm gonna keep that in the back of my mind. But I love that they've done that flora fabric for the flora line. So that's really cool. They are limited to a hundred each. So of course I am, when they said they're limited, I had to, I had to order one because, you know, I wish I could get one painted by them, but like I said, it's gonna be really nice to have, to customize completely. And I, I've got some really talented artists in mind that can do that for me. So here is one hand here. This is, again, we got the long, look at this, the sculpting there of the knuckles. Isn't that crazy? Like it is just wild how they're able to capture that sort of detail there. So I'm gonna put that hand on. And then let's do this one. And I'm very, very pleased with her. I'm glad I got Peewit too. I've opened a Peewit before because my friend sent a Peewit here. And I really like her teeth. Like I really like her face. She's got a very sweet face. And it's not as like, and then we got this hand. It's not as like harsh. I can't remember what number of hands these are. It's not as like harsh and angular as some of the other Popovi faces, which I like those too. But um, there's that. And then shoes. What Did I get heeled feet on both of these? I think I did. I don't think I got ballet feet for either. Yeah, I did. So we got the same, it's the same heeled feet as on the coral body, but I'm like really thinking I want to do that with that fabric because other the box is just going to be in storage for me. Like the two Popovi boxes that I have now, they're just in storage. Like I'm, I'm thinking reduce, reuse, recycle. Am I right? I mean, look at that. She is so gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I really want to do that with that box. So that is the Flora Lavender Skin Tone. It is, it is muted. It is a muted lavender color, like in some light, I could see like you wouldn't realize that it was purple, but 
I, the best way I can describe it is like Earl Grey with lavender. I know that sounds weird, but like if, if you've ever had Earl Grey that has that lavender hint, that's what I, I just, that keeps going through my mind. Sorry. Sorry if that's annoying, but if she were a food, that would be her. But look at them side by side. So I really like both of these colors. They're both very, um, the camera's probably not going to want to focus. Maybe it will like that. Doesn't probably help that my shirt is purple. It probably messes up the the purple of the doll but there we have the oh ht85 ht86 that's right they're engraving numbers in their dolls now aren't they i remember that so there's my new two girls two new girls and i am going to send um little owl to tanabeth for sure and then I may send her to Tanabeth as well. We're gonna see. I'm gonna see if Precious Little Lily's got commissions open because I, I, I do. I like having a variety of painting styles, um, but we'll see what happens there. So I will let you guys know as soon as I get them painted. You will see face-up reveals and body blush reveals. But I'm really happy with them. I just wanted to say a big thank you to the Papovi sisters for creating them. And then for you guys, if you're ordering. You know, don't don't sweat the shipping too much. I was sweating it a lot, but they um, they did arrive, and I'm very pleased. They're totally worth it. So, very happy. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon: Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L. Shorna R, Stephanie W, Shalane C, Penny P, Louisa's Knit Knacks, Marty G, and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, check the link in the video description. Thank you!